What's up, guys? Welcome to Yank City. The Yankees are 9-2, and two, the best record in baseball, man. We're going to have three MVP balls to give away today. We'll talk about that here in a minute, but let's go ahead and go over everything. Again, Glaber had a few good games, but again, he's back to how he was at the beginning. Um, maybe the hand injury was the cause for that, but... You know, 0 for 5 today. I do. I still don't think he's our leadoff guy. He shouldn't be our leadoff guy. Juan Soto, um, two base hits with his home run. So he had a double and a base hit, or excuse me, a double and a home run. He's now batting 357 on a year. Amazing. My boy Volpe still batting four over 400 on the year. He had two strikeouts that were, you know, not his fault. The umpire kind of blew those calls. Um, Judgy, Judgy went 0 for 4. He's still trying to find it. Like I said, he's going to struggle. Uh, Big G looks pretty good. Big G looks pretty good. Stanton looks comfortable, man. If Stanton can get hot and have a – can you guys imagine if Stanton had, a, you know, uh, not even his best year ever, but if he had an above-average year, if Stanton did. Like, let's just say Stanton bats – I don't know. Let's, what if he bats 240 with, with 40 home runs or something like that? Could you imagine? That'd be an amazing – That'd be awesome to have there. He'd be scary. Uh, Rizzo, we I think he's going to do fine. Rizzo would do great, like we always say. He'll he'll probably be up there right around the 280 uh, all year. Like I said, Volpe's over 400, man. How awesome is that? A three RBI day with that nice, beautiful home run. I loved how they showed it in slow motion. It showed him literally, like, <laughs> his eyes were following the ball. He's swinging. He's already pulled the ball, and he's still looking down, down the barrel. And then he would uh, he'd follow it up. But beautiful three-run shot on that breaking ball. Um, Trevino is still batting sub 100, you know, he's there for defense. And then, um, I like birdie a lot. I know he hasn't really done anything yet other than, you know, strike out, but that, that, um, I'll tell you what, um, we had a runner on first and second zero outs. Uh, my boy Woody would always say that's perfect bunting situation. And, uh, my boy birdie laid down a nice bunt there. So shout out to, uh, Woodrow shout out to, John Birdie for the nice bunt there in that awesome situation. Three game balls of the day, okay? All right, first, my boy Nestor, Nasty Nestor. My man came in, what did he throw? Eight scoreless innings, giving up two runs, striking out six. I, man, I understand the safety precautions. You know, um, 102 pitches, he, he got hurt, he was hurt last year. But eight scoreless I don't know. Give him a complete game shutout. Does Does Nestor have a complete game shutout? That's something for, that's something for somebody to look up and comment down below. All right. So Nestor game ball. Congratulations, Nestor. Everybody clap it up. Okay. Next, we're gonna have to give the next game ball obviously to Juan Soto. Juan Soto had a home run and then that beautiful double. He went two for three, three RBIs, a double, and then that home run, of course, and he was walked. So he got on base three times today. Awesome game ball to Juan Soto. Um, and then we're going to give the last game ball to Alex Verdugo. Big fan of Verdugo. Uh, dude was on base four times today. So he went three for three with a walk. And he had that really nice double and an RBI. Alex Verdugo is the man, dude. I'm, I'm a big fan of his, especially in the outfield. And then now his bats coming together. You know, they, he's, a do, he's a doubles machine. You know, well, that's what they always talk about is how many doubles he gets every single year. So very exciting with this game, man. Um, the Yankees, man, I'm I, I'm trying not to get too excited, but but I'm loving what I'm seeing. You know, the Yankees are nine and two. They're number one in the MLB right now, leading the league with their record. They're looking clean. They're looking crisp. They're not having those silly, stupid mistakes. You know, I think it was um, Sunday. They had that, or excuse me, Saturday. It was sometime recently. They had that game where they they started giving up runs towards the end. And we barely snuck through and won that nine to eight game against the Blue Jays. But Anyways, other than that, it's been clean baseball all the way through, and we've seemed to be in control every single game. Every single game, we're in control, and that's a big thing that we didn't have last year. It felt lackadaisical, but now it feels like this is our game. The only people that can beat us are ourselves, and we're playing clean baseball. Does that make sense? All right, anyways, so Marlins and the Yankees play tomorrow at 7 o'clock. I love you all. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell icon. I'll see you all then. Peace.